Pat Clipsham remembers Wartime Dover, voiced by Jessica Flynn. My sister Val and I lived at the Oddfellows Club during the war, when our mother and father were wardens there. We were still living in Maxton Road when we started school, but moved soon after to the Oddfellows Club in Pencester Road. It was quite a long walk to school and back, especially as we went home for lunch as well. On a couple of occasions, the air raid siren would go whilst we were walking up or down Folkestone Road. Normally, someone would pull us into shelter, but mostly it was all okay and nothing dreadful happened to us. We did spend a lot of nights in the cellar at the club and, if the siren went during the evening, a number of neighbours joined us. Val and I were supposed to go to sleep, but it was all too interesting for that, and Mum would often cook whatever people brought in with them. She turned on an electric fire and laid it on its back and cooked on that. She was a very inventive cook. There was no toilet in the cellar, and the rule was that we would wait for a shell to fall and then dash upstairs to the loo before the next explosion. One evening, unusually, Dad was at home and Val wanted to go to the toilet, so Mum got ready to go after the next shell. Just as she was going, Dad stopped her and said to wait. Almost immediately, a shell fell next door and the windows on the staircase were blown across the stairs and into the opposite wall. Mum and Val would have been halfway up the stairs and, almost certainly, would have been killed. The club was frequented by troops of many nationalities, from Dutch sailors to Canadian airmen, Americans and Australians, and men from Poland. They all had stories to tell and experiences to share. They brought food to be cooked too, and sometimes would organise little parties to celebrate a birthday. There were engagements, and, once, a wedding, when Val and I were bridesmaids. We had posies of Lily of the Valley to hold. I suppose, because food was rationed and very plain, anything out of the ordinary was exciting, and the Canadians particularly would bring biscuits and chocolate, and once a suckling pig for my mother to cook. She did it, though I don't think she had ever done anything like it before. Recorded for our World War II Spoken Memory Projects by Pavement Pounders.